In an historic move, Australia has issued an apology and compensation to thousands of women for what the Prime Minister described as a betrayal. For decades, the government forced unwed mothers to give up their babies. They were then handed over to childless couples. But as Sean Mallon explains, for the families torn apart by the adoption law, the gesture is long overdue. The bond between mother and son was 50 years late in coming for Noeline Robinson and Rodney Rose. When she gave birth, Robinson was a teenager and unwed. She was tricked into signing adoption papers, a decision that haunted her down the decades. Every baby, every stroller, every pram, I was looking in to see if he was my child, if he looked like me or if he looked like his dad. They only met when he reached middle age. It was a common story in Australia between the end of the war and the 1970s. As many as 60% of unwed mothers were forced to give up their babies who would end up being adopted by childless couples. It was thought to be in the best interests of the children. In the Australian capital, an Aboriginal elder performed a traditional ceremony to begin an extraordinary act of governmental repentance. We say sorry to you, the mothers who were denied knowledge of your rights. Hundreds of the women who lost their children sat in the audience, many in tears, as the Prime Minister apologised. She offered $5 million to support the families torn apart. Today, this Parliament, on behalf of the Australian people, takes responsibility and apologises for the policies and practices that forced the separation of mothers from their babies, which created a lifelong legacy of pain and suffering. Gillard's speech drew an ovation, even though she admitted that no words could ever undo the damage. John Mallon, Global News, London.